Hello everybody, Dr. Coyle coming to you live from the Coyle Institute. And today I wanna to talk to you about the diva and what to expect. Uh, and so, you know, we do get questions about, you know, is the diva safe? The diva vaginalizer, is it safe? Uh, is it effective? And so today I wanna to just take a little bit of time and put out a little video just kind of giving you guys, you know, why I decided to add the diva vaginal laser to my practice. Um, is it safe? You know, how many divas have been done or how many vaginal lasers have been done with, uh, with, is there any side effects to it or not? Um, and then also, you know, talk a little bit about my own experiences with my own patients that uh, have already received the diva. And then of course, uh, you know, I want to kind of finish it off with uh, just a, um, you know, a little bit of, of, the research that we're doing uh, to try to prove uh, to everybody else in the, on the planet that this is actually an amazing uh, treatment for women and, and really significantly improving women's lives. All right, so first, you know, what is the Diva? Um, I have videos on the website already. And so if you guys um, are interested in learning more about, you know, the actual mechanics of the Diva. I have a video about that. So please make sure you check those out. You can go to uh, coilinstitute.com. I have some videos on there. Okay. But ultimately, the Diva Vaginal Laser is a laser that is designed to treat the inside of the vagina. Um, why would we do that? Well, imagine, if you will, well, I guess that comes from like a movie sometimes. Imagine, if you will, um, having severe painful intercourse, severe vaginal dryness, um, irritation inside the vagina, to where um, you may be experiencing what we call genital syndrome of menopause or genital urinary syndrome of menopause, to where you have urinary symptoms as well. What we've been doing for, for patients uh, for many, many years is either giving them moisturizers or vaginal hormones or systemic hormones where you take it by mouth. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of women out there that those don't work. Um, they've tried them for years and they're still not able to have sexual relations uh, or um, they still have issues with their bladder. Uh, and so the vaginal lasers actually started coming out in 2014 to try and improve the overall health of the vagina. And so myself as a urogynecologist um, seeing women day in and day out that struggle and suffer with these uh, vaginal irritation issues genital syndrome and menopause urinary incontinence urinary frequency uh, inability to have uh, sexual relations that's what i deal with on a regular daily basis if i only had hormones or moisturizers unfortunately a lot of women just would not get better and so I didn't have something in my tool bag that I could use to help those women. And that's why I started researching vaginal lasers. In 2014, they came out with the lasers and I wasn't quite sold yet. I really wanted to kind of to see the progression and see how things would go and see if this actually was safe as well as effective. Um, and so in 2016 is when um, I actually started looking at the Diva Vaginal Laser, and that's what we ended up getting in 2016. And without a doubt, it is an amazing technology that is really significantly improving uh, women's lives in multiple different aspects. Is the, the Vaginal Laser safe? Well, I can honestly tell you now, from the Diva itself, uh, we have over 10,000 Diva vaginal laser therapies given uh, with no significant side effects uh, or adverse events. From some of the other lasers worldwide, we've actually had over 150,000 vaginal lasers performed with no significant adverse effects. So this is a very safe, very effective treatment that specifically for women that that are not able to take hormones. What about breast cancer patients? They, they're told you can't take any hormones at all. Well, what do we do with those patients? And that's why the Diva Vagin Laser has just been an absolute amazing um, therapy that we can offer to the patients. 
every now and then we will obviously, obviously when we're doing this, we'll tell ladies that you're, you're going to have some swelling. You may have some bleeding. You may have some irritation or kind of itching after the procedure. Um, specifically here as a urogynecologist, when these were first put out, they were kind of put in the hands of plastic surgeons and dermatologists. Um, and the protocols that they had, you know, weren't, weren't what we're doing now. All right. So when you put this into the hands of a specialist, we're able to look at this technology and say, Hey, listen, we can actually do things a little bit better, um, a little bit more. And, you know, in our practice here, I've actually developed protocols that, we're now teaching to urogynecologists and gynecologists and OBGYNs across the country, as well as plastic surgeons and dermatologists, uh, because now we know that, that this is actually helping with urinary incontinence. It's, it's helping with mild pelvic prolapse. It's helping with scar tissues inside the vagina, okay? Um, let me give you a personal experience. Uh, I have a, a patient that I've had forever, an absolute sweet, sweet woman. Uh, she's been a patient of mine for many, many years. And she was on bioidentical hormones for her vagina. And she would say, you know what, I, I, I'm better, but I'm still really not able to have relations uh, with my husband. When we got the, uh, the vaginal laser, uh, I called her up and I said, hey, listen, I, I really think this is something that you should try. And so she agreed and she came in and we did the laser treatment on her. We basically place uh, some numbing cream inside the vagina that sits there for about 10 to 15 minutes and the, um, let everything get numb. And then the procedure itself takes less than 10 minutes to do. And she was able to drive herself here, drive herself back home. Um, well, after that first treatment, she came back for her second treatment. We do one treatment a month uh, for a total of three treatments. And she really started to notice more moisture right after that, after that first treatment. After the second treatment, she was really starting to have normal relations back with her husband, which she had not had in many years. Um, after the third treatment, and she came back at three months, and she was so excited because she was no longer taking hormones. She was having normal relations. She wasn't having the irritation and the burning and the cracking uh, that she was having before. Well, then fast forward 10 months. So 10 months after that, she had come in and saw one of the nurse practitioners for her annual exam. And I got her pap smear across my desk when it came back in from the pathologist. And that was sent to a lab hundreds of miles away by her insurance company. It came back showing, uh, said everything was normal. And then on the bottom of it said high maturation for patient's age. And so I called the pathologist and I said, I, I knew what that meant, but I wanted to hear it from her. I said, hey, what did you mean by that? And the pathologist said, hey, you know, what what is this woman doing? Because normally in 70 year old women, uh, we have pap smears that, you know, typically show a atrophic pattern. It shows more basal cells, things like that. Well, her pap smear looked like a woman that was 35, 40 years old. So I called my patient up and said, Hey, listen, I just got your pap smear back. And they said that you have a vagina like a 35, 40 year old. And she's like, I know, I told you, I feel fantastic. And so this is an absolute amazing therapy. If you are struggling with any of these issues as far as vaginal dryness, irritation, uh, some urinary symptoms, painful intercourse, vaginal scar tissue, um, vaginal laxity, uh, don't hesitate. You know, um, there may be other options that, that also may be important for you to, to try and check out as well. But if you're a candidate for the vaginal laser, it is absolutely a life-changing, life-restoring therapy that we totally believe in here at Coil Institute. Have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you soon.